hey guys and welcome back to my channel welcome back to my garden um, it's been a few days since I've been on um, it's actually a little bit before 8 a.m. I've got my coffee uh, today is Thursday April 2nd and I want to give you guys different updates I want to show you guys new blooms and um, I also want to just walk around with you so this is gonna be a morning walk uh, I've been busy. I've been busy in the garden you guys. So I decided for the first time I was gonna be brave enough to start dividing orchids to start dividing plants and I'm gonna first show you I have um, Taken out some pups all by myself. I had never done it before from my bromeliads So these two bromeliads right here were getting huge Let me just show you guys. Um, they were getting huge. They are just beautiful and I decided to take some pups and repot them. So look at the hole it has back here. That was awful. I have to tell you that I have so many in new pots. So these are some of the pups right here. Look how big they are. Look at that. So I got one. So I got a total of like, and I really hope I did it right. I mean, I looked at some videos and stuff, so I hope I did. And look at those, those are two pups in there. And then I put, um, and then I put uh, two more pots up there. So um, basically, yeah, I've been I've been busy dividing and stuff. I I also went ahead and divided my huge cherry baby with the help of um, of Todd and Michael. Um, thank you guys. I was able to to do it more more confidently um i wasn't sure um how to do it but i went ahead and uh, got three divisions which i mounted from my sherry baby that's two and that's three right here so these are three divisions for my big sherry baby under my terrace and I'll, um, I'll get i'll get to that once i go down there so i've also also so i've also attached that to my palms um i'm telling you i am scared i'm not gonna have trunks left by the time that we come out of quarantine because I just want to mount everything I want to you know if something is if I, an orchid is big I want to just divide it and add it to my palms and just um, have my my collection kind of you know multiply so anyway um let's see what's new so this bloom here on this foul tree is new it's a pretty orange look at that the sun is kind of coming up now and not sure if you can get a good look but that's some pretty orange orange fowls um, newly bloomed on my palm uh, everything is gosh everything is just opening so pretty and we are in April you guys which is when my garden is at its prettiest so let's see if I can capture everything my jasmine vine is starting to open and at night this area here smells delicious so this is my jasmine vine you, see, you guys see all the little flowers on there i love that i love that all right let me get in through here carefully that i don't bump into uh, any spider webs all right i wanted to take you over to my gumbo limbo tree which is getting full Oh, this spike is already open. This is my Paul's Pacific Waters Paul Pride right there. All right, so I think you guys have seen this um, attachment right here of this Insidium. But when I turn the corner, this one here is like packed. Look at that. All right, so what I've added to my, um, my gumbo limbo tree. This is an Insiclia right up here in this cone. Um, this is that really beautiful, beautiful orchid. Um, it's the, it's the Epicatlea or, yeah, Epicatlea Serena O'Neill. Is it Serena? I can't. I think it's a Serena that it's a Serena O'Neill, and it's beautiful. It was my favorite one um, from the from the box that Sheldon sent me back in September, um, and I had forgotten about that orchid, um, and I found it. Um, in my terrace so I decided that I wanted to mount it here because I want to just forget about it and cichlias do not do well for me so hopefully just being out here and um, hardly in any media 
and just kind of being you know ignored maybe she'll do better i hope i don't know but um i added her here in this cone along with look at this along with all of these um uncidiums that i don't know how i ended up with three of the same <laughs> but i have three of these um burr francine rose glow so i decided to put them all together um it's a really pretty um pink flower um i actually remember now uh i got two of them give um sheldon gave me two at a show in fort lauderdale and then um, i got one i guess in a box so i have a total of three now so now they're all on my palms um they're all on my gumbo limbo all together so that's where those are and and then i added just more more insidiums here along with my sherry baby that's in in spike so that's going to be really nice so um i do have now sherry babies all over my yard um after that division was made and i still have another one to divide and i might want to do that now that i feel more comfortable and more confident in dividing um, um these orchids maybe i'll do that in front of the camera which is just i don't know maybe show you guys uh let's see i've got another bolera here which is which is growing nicely and then my uncidium twinkle right there so it's a little bit um i'm excited i'm excited for this all to bloom and, and show you guys so it's a little bit cooler this morning it was really really hot the past few days it still has not rained um yesterday i think it rained for maybe like 30 minutes not even and it has been scorching scorching hot so i have been and these are my mangoes i just wanted to just take a quick look at them um i have been watering my vandas twice a day because of the heat uh and it's just like a dry heat it's not even that humid and that's weird for us it was oh it's been so hot and and still no rain so i've been out here also look at that, look at that beautiful fowl i've also been out here um with the hose something that i never hardly do i've been watering my plants so i've been busy um i also you know i was going to um kind of show you guys when i was doing my my divisions of my bromeliad but it was just too hot <laughs> so my air plants have ended up on different palms kind of like wherever i've seen like an imperfection on the palm i just stuck stuck it on and i just stuck it on with um some crazy glue so i think that looks cute kind of just everywhere this is another another one of the pups so they were they're huge all right so let me go show you some new blooms under my terrace and that's another pup I love the red on these um, bromeliads. All right, so on to new blooms. Well, I'm going to show you some new blooms and I'm going to show you some blooms that I've already showed you because I just needed to share this beautiful Maxillaria tenifolia. Um, so this is actually um, three plants in one. This is a community pot um, I made about two years ago with three different maxis that I, that I got. And they are just all in bloom. Beautiful, I mean look at this they're just, it's just covered these three maxillarias have given me over 35 blooms and they just they amaze me every time i walk by it i mean it smells amazing it smells delicious i apologize for the lawnmower my neighbor started early today <laughs> um, but look at that i mean these flowers are just stunning and they smell so good if you are a coconut lover like me you will really enjoy having this um, in your collection because she does smell like coconut kind of like pina colada very tropical and and um, she's just she's so pretty i mean look at that detail all right rosy sunset f my insidium rosy sunset f is putting out a lot of spikes last year she uh she it was she was just gorgeous um, she's just starting to open up this is a very pretty dainty pink orchid it smells to me like strawberry maybe it's because it's pink and just smells a little pinky to me but once that opens i will i will share with you she is gorgeous my dendrobium linlay still looking beautiful all right so new blooms you guys this orchid just opened um, this is my vanda 
Let me show you the tag because I know I will butcher it. My Vanda Lamelada with my Vanda Mem Thin Chai. It's a pretty big orchid. I mean, that's just all of her roots. Look at that. And my Vandas are here because my husband is cleaning these windows and he has forbidden me to put my orchids on, <laughs> on the windows uh, for now. So these are the, let's show you the colors. So look at that. This orchid is beautiful, very fragrant. To me, it smells like Starburst candy. It's a little orangey smell, kind of like grape orange. It smells amazing. She still has not gotten her fragrance yet. It'll probably take a few days for that to come in. But love the color combo. Um, I hope that you guys are getting a good meat stand away from, kind of stand against the light here. So it's like a green... Um, not a green it's like a yellow orange and more burnt orange here at the bottom with a uh, with a pink lip beautiful and fragrant I love it it's a medium size um, Vanda so it's pretty this one came from Plantio La Orquidia and I found out that they do ship so that's that's the blooms on those my Komari Banjong is still in bloom. Smells also amazing. And these blooms last a while. So that one's not new, but it's still there. Um, I've got a brand new set of clusters here on my Hoya. And then this one just bloomed. I mean, this is my Vanda Deni, Denisoniana. Vanda Denisoniana. So this one here is a species. She is beautiful. My goodness, everybody is just making so much noise today. Sorry about the truck. So this is um, just so beautiful. So when it first blooms, it opens up and she's more of a, like, like, a, like a yellow greenish tone. And then as the day goes by, she becomes more of a yellow orange and then right towards the end of her her blooming cycle she'll become like a really dark orange so this one has just opened she just opened yesterday and her fragrance is already so amazing i mean ben had told me that she was like a more of a night fragrant orchid but right now she smells amazing look at that look at those blooms Oh my goodness, so she always has that grapey aroma and then like a jasmine or like a, it's more of a jasmine, kind of like a grapey jasmine smell. Oh, fragrance is just delicious. So this is my Vanda Denny Soniana. All right, and then I've got here my Mimi Palmer with a flower spike. Love Mimi Palmer's. There is a tag and she's also like a medium sized size Vanda. So these are the new blooms for today. Just, just very happy with that. Just so gorgeous. All right. So this is where my, um, my divisions came from. This is my huge Sherry baby, which is always in bloom. I hope that after dividing it, she's not, she's going to continue giving me blooms, but she has a lot of new growth in there. And I'm telling you, I, took out a total of 12 pseudobulbs and um, that's how I got the three divisions from from this this one was getting huge look at that and I am gonna divide that one today and hopefully I will get that one and record it and show you since I'm more confident now but I can't wait to divide that uh, let's see I, w I knew that I was getting more of the more spikes on my Brassavola nodosa uh, mas mejor here's some spikes here so i should be getting more blooms on this pretty orchid which smells good at night right now she has no fragrance oh there's another spike right there so i've got i've got two more spikes coming and i did find her tag so there's the tag for that one this one I think I got it at RF. Not sure, not sure where that one came from. And then these are older blooms, but I am getting new ones right here. All right, so I did wanna show you guys something. 
uh, before I go. Uh, I think I have, I know, not I think, but I know I have thrips again because my Asacenda Succimarin Sunlight was looking gorgeous and then look at that. So I guess the thrips are back in the garden. Unfortunately, I already treated all of my Vandas with Orthene. You guys always ask what I use and I'm gonna show you. This is what I use for thrips. It smells really strong. It's a very strong chemical. So if you're gonna use it, please wear you know, gloves, a mask, because it smells really bad and it's really strong. So this is what I use for thrips. I swear by it. I think it does amazing um, because the thrips are back. So I hope that none of my other um, orchids get affected. My, the ones under my paw, my, the ones under my terrace don't look like they have thrips, but you know, this happened and that's why I started treating again. Um, I've got this little tiny one with a spike and I believe that this is thrips because I don't think, I think it's drying up. So unfortunately the thrips are back. They're a pain. I, I cannot stand thrips, but this takes care of it. This looks really good. So orthene works if you guys are wondering um, what I treat with and that's it. This was my morning walk. I decided let's see the stanhiopia that um, todd gave me was under my oak tree uh, but i really want to keep an eye on it so i moved it a little bit closer to this rubelina tree and just keeping it moist like i was told so so that's the update on that one and then i'm just gonna end my video right over here with my beautiful cat leah so you can see her one last time because they will, I mean, she will last on my tree, probably about two or three weeks, but she won't look as pretty. I mean, this one's been here for a long time and she's still there, but she's already faded and, and ugly. <laughs> Poor thing, she's already faded. Uh, but wanted to show you guys these beautiful clusters that, that she has created. I mean, look at that. What a perfect, perfect orchid. I do not let my husband turn on the sprinklers because I do have a sprinkler that hits her straight on and I did not want to damage these beautiful flowers. I mean, just mm, so fragrant and so beautiful. So I will end my video here, you guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for spending your time with me. This was my morning walk on this cooler morning. Uh, probably the temperatures today will get up to 82 so not too bad because uh, like I said we've been very hot in South Florida and zero rain so uh, that's it I hope you guys are all healthy and you're staying safe I will see you soon in my next video thank you for watching and I hope all of you guys have a wonderful wonderful day bye bye